Hey Jitsuba, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool amazing right here and basically what this is, is a pet hair dryer. If you can see it's from this brand right here. So this one, they call it the Palm Force Dryer. So this one right here, they call it the Palm Force Dryer. And it's supposed to have a really low noise when you guys actually use the product compared to like the normal hair dryers that you use for your pet. So you see right here, they probably got some more information about the product as well right here. So first thing first, we actually take off the wrapper right here first and open up to show you guys what actually looks like inside first. All right, so once we open up the product, you guys can see that this is basically everything that's included in the package right here. So first thing you can see inside right here, they do probably got a user manual to teach you guys how to use the product and how to set up as well. So you see right here, they probably got all the information you guys need in terms of how to actually use the product and all the different buttons on here and all different heads to actually use on here as well. So for this one right here, they call it the concentrator nozzle. Next one that we got right here, they call it the styling nozzle. And for the third one that we got right here, they call it the white tooth comb nozzle. So you can definitely use like a comb right here to actually comb your pet hair while blow drying at the same time right here, which is definitely pretty nice. And last but not least, we have the actual part right here. So let's take it out, all right? So once we take it out, this is basically what the product looks right here. So we do have the cable cord right here that's going to plug in to actually activate it. And then right here, we have all the buttons right here. So for the top one that we got right here, this is called a smart button or the NTC. So for this button right here, this is basically like a smart NTC button. So when I use this option right here, it will switch from hot and cold air to actually blow dry the hair off your pet. Next button that we got right here is the temperature button. So you definitely press that to actually adjust it from hot or cold air. And for this button right here, you basically can press that to actually adjust the speed level on here. So if you guys want gentle, if you guys want moderate, or if you guys want the highest one which is strong, you can definitely press that to actually adjust it right here. And for this switch right here, it's basically the on and off switch. So let's push it up, that will turn it on. If you guys push it down, that will turn it off. And this is basically what the top part looks right here. So depending on which nozzle you guys want to use, you basically want to insert it inside right here. So let's say if I want to use this one right here, I just want to push it in like this, make sure it goes all the way in. And once you guys have it in, this will actually looks like right here. And definitely when you guys feel this part right here, it actually feels pretty nice. It definitely gives you guys a very good grip when you guys actually use it right here. It definitely has like that nonstick material on here, so that way when you guys use it, you don't have to worry about it moving or slipping off your hand unless you guys let go. And also for this part right here, they mentioned how she has a really powerful and stable motor. So that way actually dries off your pet hair really fast. And supposedly the technology that they use in here for the dryer option, is supposed to actually reduce a lot of static when you guys use it. And then for the bottom part right here, if you guys want to open up, you can basically open up this part right here. I'm assuming this part right here is probably like the filter or something right here. Let me see how we can take it out. But that is basically everything that's included in the package right here. Let me just go test it out and show you guys how it works and what actually works and we'll come back and talk more about product in a second. So if it's the first time using the product, you definitely want to get used to the actual noise for your pet first. So then here is actually really, really loud. So you definitely want to get used to it first before you guide your pet. And you definitely have the option to actually change the temperature on here and change the different speed level on here as well. So I'm going to just change the different speed level first. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. If you guys want to change the heat temperature on here, you guys want to press this button right here. All right, so you can see the product definitely does work. And if you guys want to use the comb option right here, you definitely can. So if you guys want to comb them while you guys are blow drying, you can definitely do that as well. So you definitely see and hear that the product is actually really powerful, so it definitely does work. All right, welcome back guys. So now this software test, our product definitely see that actually does work, actually works quite well. So especially for those of you guys who are a pet owner, if you guys have a cat or if you guys have a dog, definitely getting one of these is actually really helpful to actually help you guys dry off your pet hair. And it's so small and portable, so it's actually bringing with you guys anywhere. But that is basically everything that's on the product, not the unboxing and testing product not to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you got one more than these one of these. Especially like I mentioned earlier, if you guys are a pet owner and you guys need to dry off your pet hair, if you guys don't want to carry like the huge pet dryer, if you guys want something that's much smaller and portable for you guys to use anywhere at any time, then definitely getting one of these is actually really worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.